Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have the most adorable collection, you guys. This is Pink Meadows by Fancy Pants Designs. The adorable little six by six paper pad. We also have some cards and tags and ephemera. And together, you guys, they make beautiful cards like this one, lots of sparkle. I can't wait to show you what else we have. This is our giveaway card for this episode, so stick around and you'll learn how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a flip through the six by eight paper pad and there are 24 sheets and you get six double-sided sheets of each design. So, well, there's six designs, you get four of each, there we go. So look at this, it's got this like typewriter key situation going on here. And then on the other side, gorgeous roses, beautiful. And then that same rose with some little twigs and bits, and it's gorgeous. I'm going to try to not do doubles here. And then on the back of that, you've got this really beautiful gold. It's not like a foiled paper, but it is a beautiful golden paper. And then you've got this black and white, just stunning. And on the back of that, you've got these beautiful butterflies on a really nice blue color. It's kind of a blue-green color. And then we've got these little hearts look like a hand-drawn heart and on the back of the hearts we've got this beautiful one it's upside down actually like that beautiful oval i use this one on one of the cards and look at this beautiful blue and there's like little bits of like well they're like a photo or something of gold foiling so i don't want you i don't want to give you the impression that they are gold foil but there's literally some gold foil on there and then on the back of those some like chicken wire or tile and then we've got the wood grain and on the back of that we've got these beautiful flowers okay so let's check out these ephemera bits as well we've got these really cool like like photo slides and then some little labels and lots and lots of flowers, lots of labels, little watering cans, little houses, lots of butterflies, lots of flowers, little corner pieces, gorgeous. And this is the ephemera pack. And I had to keep these really separate so I didn't mix them up when I was working on these projects. And then these are all card little tags and things. So, We've got a little library card and then all of these little tag shapes. They're so cute. I love this one. This one's got a little piece of paper. So lots and lots of tags and more labels. This is just a miniature version of the oval one I just showed you. And then it's got these cool black and white tags and they all have the little little punch in them just like that really cute okay let's take a look at this one that i made so this one's a six and a half by five inch card and actually i took i'm going to try to find the papers that i used in here as we go so i took the wood grain paper and cut that slightly smaller than the six and a half by five inch card and then i also used this one right here but I turned it so I used that portion of that and then I inked the edges with a little gingerbread ink use my little applicator tool and added some little color around that and then this little strip of gold was left over from another card but it's from this paper pack right here so I just put, took about a one and a half inch strip of the gold and glued it there and then I just started putting on my little tags and my little ephemera bits and then I had wanted to get some more of that gold in there so this is ribbon from our gold and silver ribbon set and then when I clipped the tails to be a little shorter I had a little bit left that was at an angle and I'm like oh that would look good up there so I just glued that little bit of ribbon up there and then we've got our little dragonfly fly that I foam taped. I did ink the edges of these two as well. And then we've got the congratulations, which I just wanted a, a tiny greeting on a lot of these. So I'm using Tiny Words and Phrases collection. And I used this gold one right here for congratulations. Now this is going to be our giveaway card for this episode. And how this works is 
We are trying to promote our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. So if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes web webisode channel, there's a little icon where you make a full screen right there that says YouTube, and you click on that, and it'll take you to our Paper Wishes YouTube channel where you will subscribe, like, and comment, and then you will be entered in to win this card. And what we do is we wait about a week so everybody has plenty of time to see it, and then we reply to one person and we'll say, hey, you won, and give them directions on how to claim their card. I also uh, post this on the YouTube, Paper Wishes YouTube community page, and that's where the little bell is up at the top of the YouTube channel, and that will notify you. There'll be a little, like, red number up there so you see when you have people that are trying to talk to you so check that as well so you get two chances to see if you've won so i like to make that easy for you guys but you got to check all right so that's this card that's our giveaway and then we've got another one this is a five by six and a half inch card and for this one i use that beautiful blue paper right there and i just put that right there like this Okay, took some of those, uh, one of the tags right here. This is one of the um, ephemera bits, one of the ephemera roses. So this is glued, this is foam taped, this is foam taped. And then once that was foam taped, I took one of the little tag shapes from the um, cards and tags, and it's pink, so I just put that right under there. And then I used a little bit of this gingham ribbon from our ivory ribbons collection added that right there and then the get well is once again from those little tiny words and phrases dazzle stickers these are just all really quick and easy cards so i love that that you're going to get something pretty by just layering a few bits all right now this one also a five by six and a half inch card and for this one you guys i used that let me see if i can find it the large pink oval this one right here Okay, but what I did was it, what I did was, I glued it right like this. Okay, so I'm just using this part of the card. All right, this part of the paper on the card rather. And then before I glued it down, I inked the edges, the top and bottom of that paper, glued it centered on the card so there's a little bit of a border at the top. Then I went ahead and inked it with that same color. We used that, this color all the way through. And, and then, used little um from the card uh from the tags uh collection i used a little library card and then foam taped this little piece right here that is also from the tags collection because i wanted to kind of mirror this background um inked the edges of that first before i foam taped down inked the edges of this little cute circle this is also from the tags collection and then I just glued that kind of on just right under that piece. Um, oh, before I foam tape this one down, here's another tag. So it's like glue, glue, foam tape, glue, because you just want to foam tape this one first and then tuck this one under. And then took that same ivory ribbon collection, you guys, there's some rickrack in there, glued that across right there. And then also in that collection, just a little bit of this ivory jute twine. And I just took two lengths and then tied a single bow by holding that together and glued that right there. And then we've got the With Sympathy, which is also from the Tiny Words and Phrases Dazzle Collection. That's a really nice brown color. So once again, very simple to put together. All right, so this last one, we're gonna build a card. Here we go. So this one, you guys, is five by six and a half inches. And the background papers that I used this one, I just love that rose print, had to use that. So just cut that slightly smaller than the five by six and a half inch background. Okay, used a strip that's about two inches of the gold, inked the edges of that, and then glued that right across the center. Okay, notice it goes all the way to the edge of the card and not the edge of that mat right there. All right, now I've got some little bits, bits and bobs. We've got this cute little one, this tag right here. This is from the tag collection, and this is the pink ribbon, light pink ribbon set. And I just threaded a little bit of gingham ribbon right through that. Um, I have a little scrap of that wood grain paper. We're gonna use that. And then 
I've got a little butterfly, and I've inked all of the edges of these. It makes a difference, a little flower. And then on these, I've gone ahead and put my little greetings on here, and I've got some foam tape on this one. I think we'll just glue this one. All right, so I'm gonna grab my glue. This is Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. And for this one, I think we're going to do, I'm gonna glue this right here. And then I always just like to put a little bit on the side that it's going to be trimmed from. Instead of trying to put glue on this end of the paper, I just find it's easier. Because if I do that, I always have glue over here. There we go. All right, and so this one, we've got a lot of, I'm just gonna kind of talk through my process here. So we've got, the card is going this way. It's very vertical, but then we've got some horizontal strips going this way. So I kind of wanna put this one going vertically as well. And then we've got this cute little tag, which could go right that way. So I'm going this way with this tag. And we've got the little wish. I could go up here. We've got this little one, it could go right there. And I've got this butterfly. They kind of overlap like that. So that's what I'm thinking. So let's try that. I might want to, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. All right. And then I did notice my little, here we go. One of my little tiny pieces here didn't get removed from that P on the happy. I find using the little pokey tool is really nice when lifting up the background pieces or the uh, dazzle stickers. Okay, that's gonna go right there. This one has a little foam tape on the back. So we're going to, I think we're gonna do it, cut it here, maybe we'll do it here. I'm already changing my mind, it's part of the process. And then this one, we could just overlap right there. I think I like, I like that. And that way that gives this one more, more room to shine. Okay, there we go. Yep, I like that. And then we've got that right there. I like that better. Okay, so you guys, we have a fantastic money saver on this collection. As you can see, I think you just need one sheet for the background and then some little scraps to add for layering, which is so nice. And let me get all organized here. This is our giveaway for this episode. So definitely check out the end of the video. We have instructions on how to participate with that. Don't forget the money saver on this collection. It's right over there if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. If you're watching us on YouTube, look below the video in the description box and you'll see a link that'll take you to Paper Wishes and you can see all of this. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.